Okay. We have a number of uh, minutes in here. October 11th. I know we've seen these, but we, we're so busy making everything else work that we haven't formally adopted. October 18th. November 6th, November 22nd, December 13th, I think that was the last one. Yes. So why don't you do that, if you take a minute and review those, I know we're all pretty familiar with them. And I'd entertain a motion if there's no Comments, corrections, or concerns? Make a motion to accept all the past uh, meeting minutes. Okay, we have a motion to accept one, two, three, four, five meeting minutes as previously identified. We have a second? Just a second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. All right, if you go through your packet, once we get to the bottom of that, for David Burns uh, in your packet. David is, this is David here. David has been selected by uh, Bert Hanks to be our Clerk of the Works. So wanted to introduce David. Fine, David. You've got his uh, resume there. He, uh, I see that. He's slightly <laughs> overqualified, but we won't hold that against him. <laughs> And David, tell us a little about yourself. And uh, I currently reside in, um, in in Western Massachusetts, born in Boston, grew up in Winchester, Eastern Massachusetts guy for most of my life. Um, spent a couple of decades on the seacoast of New Hampshire, uh, Hampton, Northampton. Um, I, I have two daughters who are, uh, are growing up and successfully launched and live far away. Uh, and I've been widowed for a number of years. So, great. John, any questions? Being your, <laughs> you guys usually wear the same hat. Uh, close to it, anyway. Yeah. No, I, I was pleased to see this. Uh, yeah. the, the diversity of your experience and, uh, yeah. you know, be see, be aware. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I, when I was getting a first look at the architectural drawings yesterday, which was was. Pleased to see the design of the building. I'm, I'm very comfortable with, you know, what I see. I've got a great deal of experience with engineered wood, and um, uh, you know, building frames of this size and complexity. I mean, obviously, this was driven by budget and, and by circumstances a lot. It's not a very complex building, uh, and, and it's and it's structure. Yeah, well, it's a, and, that's a nice building. Yeah. Steve, thank you for, for taking the time and forwarding the resume. Uh, I want to welcome David to the, uh, to the team. So why don't you go, why don't we do this while we're talking about Vertex, why don't you provide your update, Steve, then Zell will circle back to you, if that's okay. So uh, on site activity, um, last meeting that we had here, or I guess it was over at the police station, we, we talked about the borings and, and the, the, the challenge to get that done and, and, and in a timely manner, and BC uh, was able to get that done. It was done that Friday that they, uh, I think there was some communication after that meeting, they did get the borings done. Uh, that would be a week ago today, that morning they were out uh, getting the, 
before he's all done. My observation is that they, um, based on what you can observe on a borings, and that they're just taking data, and then the yep. data then gets uh, observed. They said it, it appeared to be basically what was expected. It was yep. not refusal in terms of uh, boulder or ledge, no. which was uh, so that that was consistent with what we expected to not find refusal there. So there were no, to me, you know, as we're learning what is there with the benefit of the data from the borings, no surprises uh, uh, yet, if you will. Uh, so maybe there won't be any, but we don't have any yet. It was basically exactly as expected. That's how that thing uh, went. Uh, trailer is out there. Um, um, the recommendation based on the getting sighted <coughs> there is to is parking is tight and, and to um, park in the fenced area if you're there or perhaps at the existing station but that's you know up to your guys with the, you know helping us understand how to best uh, operate there uh, as we get started uh, not to park in the lot adjacent the fire lot but instead in the construction lot um, and that I think is going to be an ongoing challenge for the site guys because it's easy to park there. That's where I parked when I was there. I had my big front, of course, so I was in the way as soon as I showed up. So, um, uh, so in the construction site, not in the fire site, and perhaps at the police if we figure out what may work best there. Yeah. So we'll, we'll um, probably what we'll probably do is look to chief it and and see what we should do there. And well, some conversations today. We we're just talking about that. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, and we'll coordinate it. I think the big thing is it, it can be used as a staging area as long as big trailers coming in or something like that. Or you get a crane pick or yep. whatever. I would be. Probably transient stuff, you know, which will have priority and long term. You park here, we're going to be here all day. We'll come up with a solution for that. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll come up with a solution. Yeah, that sounds good. So it's, it's, it's quick uh, mm -hmm. learning was the sensitivity there in the way of it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of even though it seems to be room there, but that's. Uh, so, John, you'll work with, with Greg on that? Yep, absolutely. You. Should have an answer by the end of day today. There is a trailer on site. There's some um, getting that uh, actually connected so that the heat works. So it's not, as I described, it's really just a big giant refrigerator because that's what it is without, without the electricity to it. Um, so I know that uh, DC is trying to figure out the best plan to locate that trailer on a site that doesn't have a lot of space that isn't going to be developed. And that's always a challenge is to try to figure out where you put it so you don't end up moving it every Monday morning um, and maybe move it fairly at all. So that's, they're, they're trying to figure out uh, where, where the right spot may be. My, my observation was where they picked wasn't the best spot, but that's up to them to decide that and figure out where that is, is to go. Um, uh, they did have uh, tree clearing activities starting yesterday. Uh, yes. You could speak to that. You were up there yesterday. I was not uh, on site. Speaking about <coughs> tree, sir, uh, can I just circle back real quick? Do you have a rough idea of number of vehicles you, you'd want to accommodate? Just just a ballpark that you think on day to day basis. Yeah, 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 that's what yeah. yeah. so the answer. Worst case scenarios or. You, 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 John will be 35. Dozens. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've got to have a minimum of a dozen every day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah that just gives me a jump off. That's just 12 to 24 cars, cars yeah. vehicles. Yes. All right. Um, Hopefully, it's five times that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Quite yeah. Now, but, uh, but that'd be certainly as we get um, as steel starts to go up, and after that, crews start to, sure. to to grow and get steadier at a larger number. But up until then, you know, it'll it'll be a steady smaller number than that. But, but yeah. Can you see the roof shingles on? You can see one of the tenants are crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The framing's done, and they can bring a lot more. Yeah, yes. and then it's not just cars, it's vans and yeah. it trucks. Right. And duallys. One thing I want to circle back on, <coughs> we're, we're talking about borings, I think just for everyone outside of the committee, the original borings were for the location of the building. Final conservation and site plan approval placed the remaining components that required additional borings for the gen set, the, uh, the equipment pads and, and the like. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are things that are determined during the process, mm -hmm. not prior to. So, hence why. Well, yeah, in addition to that, I just want to add that the, the actual um, boring um, analysis will be reviewed by our geotech right. to so confirm, yeah. you know, to make sure that everything is clear. And that's mm -hmm. within the contract for me, yes. except for the consultant. Yeah, except for the consultant. Right. Right. So this is their part of that. Yep. Thanks. Sorry, Steve. Continue. 
um, up, um, by the time I got there, so I, I left Weymouth probably around 10, get up to the site shortly after 11, all the, all the fun stuff was over. The trees were all dropped. Um, a completely uneventful day. They were in and out of there, five or six guys. They were in and out of there basically yesterday. By the end of the day, they had shipped up everything and, and, and cleaned up and, you know, a, a very out of you know a productive uneventful day, which is exactly what you would like. Uneventful is good. All right. Why don't we? Anything else, Steve? No. Nope. All right. Thank you. So why don't you well, give us your update? Uh, basically, how are your holidays? I've been fine. Thank you. I've, uh, as I mentioned, I was out of the office. I've been out of the office, so. Um, I am not finally tuned to, to the, uh, what's the developments uh, currently, but I have been keeping in touch and I've seen that, seeing that, we're, that we're getting more submittals in and things are gonna start to pick up now that uh, holidays are over in this tough couple of weeks. We had a lot of people out of the office. Uh, well, and I think too, where we building permit, <coughs> is, I mean, which is yeah. all certainly an issue, I'll, I'll go yeah. into that. And, uh, Kind of the kickoff, so mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. That's... So, like I said, I think that now that once the holidays are over, I think that things are going to pick up. And, uh, I don't think there's anything out of the ordinary that, that we have to. You, I think your next meeting is where yes. you're going to. Yes. Link. Yes, yes. So, just some housekeeping issues. Uh, the notice to proceed was issued on December 19th. Uh, so the countdown clock starts mm -hmm. 365 days from there. Yes. I mean, that's a, a benchmark on a project that's been kicking around <coughs> for seven years. The contract for the project, and there's copies of these in your packet, uh, was signed and executed by all parties on November 21st. You'll see in uh, 11.29. The building permit has issued John, John Lucy, a deputy, uh, spearheaded that, and the permit was issued, I'm gonna say, in, within the seven business days, John. Thank yeah. you for that effort. That was, uh, Sam Jocelyn's last day was last Tuesday. Uh, he has, uh, he, he's moving on to West Newbury. So the, the Pertucket group is gonna enjoy having Sam, the good man, very capable, and good to work with. But we have, there's a plan in place for an alternate, so that will take place. But uh, having John walk through the process with uh, with Sam and making sure that the permit got issued uh, was, was a real milestone. That, that could have been a 30, 45-day glitch without, you don't want a part-time inspector looking at 400 pages of documents trying to go through that. So. So the permit's been issued. The notice proceed and as is issued, contract is signed. So if you go into your packet, the next thing we have a couple of invoices in there. John, I'm assuming you got these. Uh, you need a couple of signatures on. Okay. So one invoice is dated. It's it's contracts dated. 12 9, is that the one you have there? Okay. And 4,500, and then we have one from Vertex dated December 5th, right? For 5,800. Are those the only outstanding? The only ones. Okay, good. Well, why don't we take a look at those if anyone has any questions? Uh, Steve, I didn't see a letter of recommendation to pay. But if you could forward those two with it, uh, cursory review, these just follow the payment schedule yeah. or the per diems that we've, uh, we've agreed to. Okay. So if you would follow up with that for the record, that'd be great. <coughs> Do we uh, need all the committee members to sign these recommendations or just two or three? So? I would say we have everyone sign this present. Just circulated it. Students should 
quorum is probably all that's needed, but uh, we're here we'll just, if we're here, okay. All right, so why don't we <clears throat> I have asked that uh, the selectmen, a couple of selectmen, the chair of the board of selectmen, and that Tracy Blaze attend the meeting today. So we wanted to walk through the proposed. Uh, change order protocol that we've discussed and I think add some clarity <coughs> where there may be some confusion, share some experiences and uh, and go from there. Are there any outstanding payments due contracts for Vertex at this time that you're aware of? No, no, no. Well, no, 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 Although the committee meeting is once a month, yeah, it, that could be twice a month, depending as we could do it at the construction meeting. So maybe. Well, but we are not going to have a quorum at the construction meeting. That's true. so. But I, I think we can we, we can address that. We'll just adapt as, as necessary. Okay. Certainly, uh, enough people <coughs> available. Uh, Friday doesn't have to be a sacred day for an emergency meeting either. Okay. <coughs> All right. Yeah. So. Tracy and JR, why don't you come on up if you would join us? Is our, our town administrator, if, uh, David Burns. I think David, you're probably David. the only one. Uh, J.R. Colby is chairman of the board of selectmen, the boss of all of us. I don't hope I go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> <laughs> Some enjoyment. <laughs> so we, we wanted to circle back, uh, as, as we know, right now we're through this middle process, so this isn't really on the front burner yet, but. At some point in time, uh, that there are changes, there are adds to the deductions. So the committee voted unanimously to adopt this change <coughs> order protocol. And I think that what what I want to do is add some clarity to it. I think we, we have some confusion on on actually what that is. Uh, so if you look at it, basically the the committee decided that. There, there are minor change orders that come up from time to time, uh, and and they're verbally given the green light uh, during during the month. All change orders have to come in on. If you look, there's two forms that are attached here. Typically, these the last two forms are your change order form and your application for certificate of payment. On a monthly basis, if you look at the change order summary on the bottom, okay, right in this area here, it's 
on a monthly basis, a rolling average, a rolling total of, of what it is. So, I mean, I think typically what happens is on the minor stuff, and and again, it's determined by a dollar amount. The contractor, after recommendation of Clerk Steve Zell, will reach out to one of the construction people, depending on the dollar amount, and say, "We got to move a door." And it's going to be well. What are you, what's it going to cost? It's twelve hundred dollars. We're going to make a decision that it's fifteen hundred dollars a day in delay costs <coughs> to try to come up with an answer for a twelve hundred dollar solution. That will then they'll they'll proceed under that premise. At their monthly payment requisition, they will submit the change order formally that the whole committee will approve. Uh, with the application for payment, the change orders, and then that goes off to procurement for compliance. Procurement signs off on it, it gets on the warrant, the selectmen approve it. So I think that that's the process that it traditionally I'm familiar with, and I'm talking to counterparts on big school projects, that's typically how it's worked. Mike reached out to, Chief, you reached out to, we've used Merrimack as a glowing example of uh, how to do these things. Mike reached out to his counterpart up there, and Mike, why don't you uh, give us your... Uh, Eric's the person, the point person. Is he the chairman of the committee? I believe so. I'm not okay. sure if he's the chairman, but he's the one the committee put in, in charge of. Right. Changes um, and basically, it, what he told me is the board of selectmen is in charge of all changes until they delegate that to somebody, and the board delegated that to Eric. And um, so, when something comes in, he's already talked to the OP man, the clerk of the works, and they have a consensus. And if it's, I forgot the the dollar amount. If it's under so much, um, he just he authorizes it, and then it's. At the building committee meetings, it's gone over, and so uh, everything's documented. Yeah, I, I think the big thing is, is that it's the timing. If if you have a twelve hundred dollar minor adjustment, you'll have change orders that will be a, a deduct too. So it, it is it's a balancing act there. And one of the things we're talking about, Zell and Steve, is the elevator going mm -hmm. from a traction fee to a yep. hole that's hydraulic. Well, there could be a fifty, forty-five, fifty thousand dollars reduction in cost uh, that will come through as a change order, but it will be a deduct. So, I just wanted you to. I mean, this is really kind of the custom and practice. I think the the committee has made a recommendation. What I would suggest is to adopt this. If you decide you want to change the dollar amounts. I mean, one thousand to five thousand, five thousand to ten thousand, anything over ten. I mean, you know, whatever you decide to do, I, I don't think that really matters because it's really the low dollar amounts that right. we get hung up on that you can't have a a, a small change order potentially. Mm -hmm. the, and believe me, the contractor will every submittal has a countdown. Where was it seven days on? The, yeah, generally speaking, yes. Yeah. So they every 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 submittal of every component has to go through the the architect, and the contractor submits it, and it says response due by such a date. Now, if it's whatever reason three days late, that's a claim for three days of delay. So your general conditions per diem. Now. It doesn't quite work that way, it's an it's offset, like, it's like, but everyone tries to build up chips for the end of the project. If they're 30 days late and we're saying we're gonna penalize them $400 a day, they're gonna say, hey, hey, we're, we got 92 days here that you went over and then you're, so, but, uh, so what, let me offer something here that we understand that they may not understand. These small changes that David's going to pick up on the job site and need to have it fairly quickly because it's on the spot. Uh, and that's one of the concerns about the ones that are 10, 15,000 bucks, they're not going to happen on the spot. Right. We're going to hear about it. It's going to take a little bit of time to sort through it, 
Uh, well, there's usually a submittal required on something. Uh, yeah, it involves, it, uh, once it involves a separate sub right. uh, file stuff, right. immediately it creates right. a time delay yeah. because everybody has to get their numbers in. Yeah. So it's not as critical to make that decision on the spot. You need time to sort it out. Yeah. You guys are going to go through it and make recommendations yeah. to us, and then we'll say, hey, we agree or disagree, and that's yeah. the new one. Yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and, I, and I think the big thing here is we're talking an aggregate amount of very low dollars yeah. that could just become costly in time, which would become large dollars. And we, we try not to. Uh, so you propose one to 10,000 would be a verbal approval by you and the vice chair? And secretary, the, the three construction guys, basically. But if, but, so Jay, what I'm gonna suggest is that could be one to $5,000. And then it could be Two signature, uh, two verbal approvals, five to ten, and anything over ten goes to the um, committee because that, that's probably more realistic. Yeah. Right. Um, my only concern is it, it, it's not a trust issue and it's not an authority issue. I just want to make sure. I mean, sometimes in Newbury we do things a little differently than we do in other communities. We've already seen that with this process. I just want to make sure that whatever documentation we need going through that process, that I just don't want to see good people make an innocent mistake and have a problem. Yeah, as no, far I as mean, the paperwork it, again, goes. here's your paperwork here. Nothing. And I'm not saying that I'm going to yeah, catch yeah. a mistake, oh, oh, no, no, I, would no, rather, no. I would rather take the heat for a mistake there is, <laughs> than, than a volunteer. I think what you know? have is, those of us that do this every day, it, it's kind of custom and practice, and we're more likely to, the average person doesn't know the difference between a a traction feed or a holeless hydraulic elevator, right, right. but it's 50k. That's what we know. So if that that's the empirical knowledge that your construction people bring to these minor changes, I, I just think we shouldn't focus too much on the the dollar amount because we're not talking a lot of money here. It, this is time. And one thing we've learned in this project is after seven years. Time is of the essence, and we've watched costs go up. That clock still, still, still rings rings true, and it's not uncommon. What were the what were the general condition upcharges for delays in Salisbury? Over oh, hundred thousand dollars, and then that would have telegraphed to the architect and OPM, yep. or certainly the OPM. So that's additional cost that didn't bring any value add to the project. There's always blame. Architects can say the drawings are inaccurate. A lot of time, we want to eliminate it where that we don't get bogged down in uh, weeks of making a decision that translates into a delay of project. So, and I think the chairman has scheduled a meeting for the thirteenth, if I'm not mistaken, to go over the committee's yeah. recommendation with the chairman and town yeah. council. Right. Um, Basically, any decision on this, I'm going to have to rely on council. I'm, I'm not in construction. Yeah, so, no, I... And this is my first time on a public project of this size. I, I do have town council's email that basically says you will then need full authority to grant the committee. Yes. With, yeah. By law. Uh, and... My, my recommendation is you either have full faith and confidence in the committee or, or you don't. Let the experts do what they do best for you because that's why you put us on the committee. And it's, let's keep it simple rather than make it more complex than it has to be. So, so look forward to what you decide. Jim has a question. Yeah, Jim. As one of the selectmen, Tracy's concern, so Tracy, the procurement and movement of these <coughs> paid, doesn't that still enter in now for clarity? That or is that okay? Is what you see okay? Yeah, my only concern, I have two concerns. One, I share with the committee's concern with timeliness because that's where we, we should, always get we tied should up. talk about those now. And but as everyone. far as procurement goes, Regardless of what the Board of Selectmen decides, um, how they it decide to establish to procure, this, right. procurement, I, I, I'll have eyes on everything as it comes through right. the process, so is I'm not worried about that. that. Mon that's monthly, correct. Th right, I'm, but uh, that's not 
that's kind of separate from this, and I'm not concerned at all about that. All right. My only concern is that the board grants the appropriate authority to whoever, whether right. it's you or you or whoever it is, that the board takes that vote and that it's in concert with what um, council recommends or the committee recommends. Well, I mean, so I think what we want is compliance with the law. Because at the end of the day, that, that's the controlling factor to me. I think we can all have different opinions on, on how to go about this. Right. But it, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I, I'm going to dare say we're probably one of the few committees that have actually proposed a protocol for this, but usually it's kind of, Dave's going to call someone on the committee mm -hmm. and says, it's, it's too low dollars, don't you know, yeah. go forward. And then it shows up on the change order and the committee reviews and approves it. Yeah. We're, we're just being a little more structured and, and probably a little more open at the beginning of this. But so, well, we, we await your decision. Here's the good thing. We don't anticipate anything in the next, 30 days that well there's already a few changes that are in the works so mm -hmm. the elevator being one right it has but, to be decided on. okay and but i think but we'll we'll call it that's a a bigger enough that's going to be a, <clears throat> a, 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 a yeah it's going to be a deep down no, we'll see i mean yeah. Yeah. oh yeah no <laughs> well if, it, if it's not a design cell we're going to leave it with the well, traction just because it's a credit yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't waste yours. Uh, is that is it the right correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, because it's a, a chance, it's an opportunity to capture on the way down, uh, just like uh, they try to capture on the way up. So it's it's the same process. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can rely on David a lot because it's in the field. If I'm called by David because I'm available to run down there, which I would think I'm pretty open to do, because I work for myself, is run down and I'm going to have certain questions for this contractor. Is it well, how many hours? And, you know, and what's involved? And he's going to be right there because he's got that background too. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, well, that's reasonable. So let's proceed and get that written up as a change proposal. Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is it, it never even comes to any one of the committee members until it's already been touched by Zell, Steve, and Dave. Yeah. Because uh, if they're not on board, and Mike Prest is not going to say, hey, Bob, I want to eat for lunch, but then we eat all stuff, and you know, I, want, I need 25K for a. Uh, oh. Bathroom. Hot. You can't be well, had the yeah. <laughs> You know, and I, 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 it just happens to be my favorite sandwich. <laughs> oh, even more so. <laughs> uh, there is one more thing, which is not every change is agreed upon. And right. when right. you have those situations and the work still has to get done, uh, oftentimes uh, there's authority to allow them to proceed on a time and materials basis. Assuming a certain amount of time that's sort of guesstimated about what that will be. And th this way, it doesn't hold up them providing a fixed amount that, that everybody would agree to. Uh -huh. And so that's another way to avoid delays so, is by so allowing them to proceed on a time and material basis. That would be. BC says that this is ten grand. You yes. guys say, guys, this is no thirty five right. 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 yeah. and, and then you proceed. That's a case so, of capture. Now. So I think that's a very good point, Tracy. How do we how do we handle that? Are they the same numbers yeah, to same, apply? Same. Okay. Same. Yeah, it's the same okay. same yeah. issue. So it's a change order and dispute, really, to a point. And they have a procedure. Right. It's, yeah, it's it's just a matter of, of bookkeeping and time slips and directing their, their actual costs and. And then at the end, when they're done, you tabulate what the actual cost was, yeah. and all agree that that was, you know, fair and square. And, and it's easy to play a big role when they hear that. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Because you'll get the well, And where his, his background is, is daily slips and he'll perfect for them each day. I'm, I'm looking at the I clock chain, and you two have a 8 o'clock meeting. Do. Why don't we just go around the table? Any questions? Martha, that you'd like to ask David, Zell, or Steve? Um, or comments about the protocol? Who's coming over to, to the meeting? I'm going to send it on and then whoever else. Yeah, John and John. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, I just had a question. This will probably come up in the meeting this morning, but any update on the status of the not weed removal that you guys have? The what? Not, not, weed. not weed removal. Because um, we need to submit a letter. I don't know, but we discussed that. The removal, no. The 
from specific actions that I'm aware of. Okay, no, we talked about it, you know, yeah, um, just yeah. in getting the input speed and like, you know, I brought it to where I saw it on site and looked at the situation. Have they proceeded, if they haven't started grubbing in here? Yeah, so that'll, that'll, that'll start, that'll start, that could very well start today. Is that well, the same company that did the pre-work that's going to do that? Or? Well, that no. just that we need, we need documentation about who's doing it and how they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so that just us, this is coming back up. Well, right. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye
how do we even get to that point? I think that's what it is. But so. So at this juncture right now, I guess what I'm, I just want to make sure I'm not dropping any balls here. At this juncture, my communication with Zell is sufficient just to get that, you know, the plausibility, and then it comes to you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you shouldn't even be talking to Zell. It should be brought up to the committee first. We just say, yes. on this page, they want to change this to this. All right. And then the committee has to decide. Okay, well, just for clarity, I mean, I was instructed to propose my 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 concerns or my request to him, but so that was wrong. Well, no, no, you you can ask a question. Oh, okay, all right. But, but yeah. But we can't initiate. Oh, I don't make a decision. I just want to make sure I'm not, uh, I'm not supposed to be yeah. doing something right now. But, but what I would suggest is, when if you have if you have a proposed change, mm -hmm. it should start at the committee level. Because then we all get to kick it around for sure. you. No, I agree. It, and I, I'm assuming this is where you're trying to change the data room into something yes, else. Yes, exactly. Or okay. Exactly. So, all right. All right. So, I, but I think it's just critical that that's one of the structural things that we have to have. So mm -hmm. that. Can we do that by oh, we will horrify Chris. Because I have, I, I have a PDF that I can send to the whole committee. Right. I just to right. give an idea what, or sneak What it is is we can't deliberate outside the meeting. So what to right. do with the next meeting, while you bring in a proposed, <coughs> sure. what you're saying. Why don't we PDF it to the whole committee beforehand so everyone can do That's what I mean, not to yeah. discuss it, but just yeah. so you guys are familiar. Okay, well, while you do this, yeah. send it to me and I'll send it out. Okay. Okay, yeah. as one of the... Uh, yeah. Like, it's just like the requisition, we're all going to see the pencil draft. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we won't be talking about the right. yeah, okay. these guys will be good. Okay. Um, all right, anything else? Because it's uh, yeah, we got to run. Quick, quick one run. So the signed uh, pay these guys needs to go to Ellen or maybe I Tracy. Can take it. Okay. Yeah, and then Steve can email to me or Ellen the cover request yeah. cover. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the recommendation. Yeah. And then where Steve's leaving too, no, you take pretty good notes. Are you going to take notes for the meeting and get them to me? I'm at, we're actually, I think the meeting is done. Oh, yeah. Okay, and, good. And, and, so, Chief, any any questions before the team? No, he covered the question that I was yeah. thinking about the process. If, right. If we want to initiate something. Yeah, I agree. I should come to the committee because everyone should bounce it around first, and then if it yeah. seems viable, then. It goes off to Zell or whoever. I mean, obviously, if it's one of those things that has zero impact on time and budget, right. then right. it's going to get, right. on a level of 1 to 10, it's going to get a 1 attention. So I think with that, that uh, proposed room adjustment, it's so early in the process, we're not even running out of the ground yet, that yeah. this is a good time yeah, to discuss it and bounce it around. So, but every, the next meeting, every change opens Pandora. Oh, absolutely. Five, That's what we want to discuss if it's... And if it's going to be yeah. cost prohibitive, then yeah. just keep it the way it is. If it's going to be cost neutral or, or just I mean, slightly. Then John and I talked about this, and I really like the idea of converting your interview room into that, where that the amount of times you're going to have someone being interviewed in the course of the week. Uh, right. The square footage would work there, but. Oh, that's a that's a program issue. That's yeah. that's a that's a functional issue for mm -hmm. me. But. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, moving the data room is it's probably it's, all conduit and everything yeah, that's else. Just, and, yeah, uh, it's we got to calculate runs of yeah, uh, there's just some like, some a little bit more yeah. runs of material. But. We obviously had, I just like to put a number to it. So yeah, plausibility yeah. because this is one and done for us for the next fifty years, and yeah, uh, we need to make sure we utilize every square inch effectively. So mm -hmm. that's all I have. So, okay, all done. All right, motion to adjourn. All right, Tracy. JR, any questions for us before we go? No, no. All right. Motion to adjourn? So moved. All right. All in favor? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me.